Good afternoon. Millions of dollars is going unaccounted for that the city of Albuquerque hands out. An internal audit found that for years there was no system to check how these groups spent your money. Now city councilors say they need to do a better job questioning nonprofits and other community service groups before they get any money. Here's News 13's Jackie Kent. Jessica, the audit found discrepancies with more than half of all the groups that have community service contracts totaling more than $33 million. There are great people doing great work, but we have to be able to show taxpayers they're doing it. City Councilor Pat Davis says the council will be more careful about signing checks for social service contracts for groups that help the homeless, early education, and others if those organizations and nonprofits aren't better about reporting how the money is being spent. An internal audit found that of the 162 social service contracts, 95 of them, totaling 33.2 million, had at least one issue relating to performance monitoring or reporting, and that the Department of Family and Community Services doesn't have an effective process for monitoring these groups. Among the groups with discrepancies, APS with its $1.1 million contract for after school programs. A 6.7 million contract for city senior services and 192,000 for the New Mexico Coalition to End Homelessness. A coalition rep says the group was informed of minor errors and will report budget changes more often. I think it's concerning to see that for years um, the administration, the old administration, was issuing contracts to groups without asking them to show their work. What's more, the DFCS renewed 83 percent of social service contracts that had performance monitoring issues. Davis says these groups are doing great work, but a lack of reporting makes it hard for council to see whether tax dollars are benefiting the right people and not going to overhead. If you're doing a good job, we want to put you at the top of our list. And if you're not, maybe we want to pair you up with somebody who knows how to tell those stories better. Councillor Davis says the city wants to show off those groups that are reporting well and those who aren't can be set up with monitoring staff so they can be trained to do so. Jessica, back to you. All right. Thank you, Jackie. Davis says no groups will be denied funding because of poor reporting. A storm will move in.